Hey everyone, it's Eni, aka The Not Trader, your friendly neighborhood swing trader, back again with another video. Remember to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at The Not Trader on all socials. In this video, I'll be doing something a little bit different. I'll be reviewing Free Trade, Europe's first zero fee investment mobile app. Let me know if you use Free Trade and what you think of it in the comment section below. Now, let me tell you a little story. So, in 2017, uh, app was launched called Robinhood and what it did was that it was an app that kind of democratized uh, investment trading for uh, millennials and people who had a, a smaller income stream so how did they do that they allow people to invest in stocks for free now if anyone has invested in stocks before um, they'll know that so especially in the UK I don't know about USA that there's a fee for entering buying stocks and there's also sometimes a fee for selling them as well this could be anywhere between five pounds to ten pounds or convert it to whatever in, uh, currency in your country so someone like me who when i first started trading i started buying and selling stocks uh, outright so share dealings rather than spread betting and i found that i had a small bank i was i, I tested it out with about 200 pounds and what i found straight away was that if you have 200 pounds you're going to buy a stock for buy some stocks and it costs you five pounds to enter five pounds to exit that's ten pounds gone straight away so that's 5% that you have to make just to break even. And that's ridiculous. How are you going to make a turn of profit when you lose 5% from the jump? So people with smaller banks were kind of dissuaded from getting involved in stocks and shares because there was such a heavy uh, cost relative to your bank uh, that would be incurred for, for buying and selling stocks and shares. So something like uh, Robinhood was, was like a godsend to us, really. <laughs> Can you imagine an uh, app that you can use on your phone that you can buy and sell stock, stocks, shares, ETFs um, with no fee? Uh, so I was, I was happy and then I was sad. Why was I sad? Because it wasn't available in Europe. <sighs> but I was like, oh, it's only a matter of time before this uh, company uh, comes to Europe. But they never did. Maybe they had plans to, but it's too late now anyway. Because now we've got free trade. They pretty much do exactly the same thing as Robinhood, but they, they care into the European market. So what does this mean? Free Trade market themselves as a zero fee investment app. Uh, they were founded in 2015 by a guy called Adam Dodds. And as you can see, they're really trying to galvanize a young audience with the design of their user interface. It's very simplistic, very sleek. Uh, using uh, millennial pink, millennial pink, yeah, that's a color. Well, it's pink, but they just decided to call it millennial pink. I think they think millennials really like pink. Google it if you don't believe me, it's color. So, um, so with all that being said, you could tell that they're really trying to galvanize an audience that one may not have a lot of discretionary income, but still want to get involved in the stock markets, and two. Um, a younger audience that haven't really tied themselves down to an investment app like your generic one such as um, Hargreaves, Lansdowne, well that's more for ISAs and long term investments but they're really trying to make investments young and sexy rather than some of the sites that you normally see which are quite tailored to to older audience. One thing that they did that was very different to Robinhood is that they managed to uh, raise a lot of uh, funds without any VC funding which is really impressive so they're not beholden to some sort of massive hedge fund or angel fund. Uh, some of the pros, uh, the user interface is um, very basic, others may call it intuitive depending on your experience but um, as an experienced trader I like a lot of dashboards as you've probably seen from my uh, setup with uh, Pro Real Time. Um, but this could be a pro uh, depending on how you look at it. Um, they have over 150 UK and US stocks and ETFs. Um, I haven't counted, but last time I counted it was 147, but every day they keep uh, sending alerts of new companies that they've added to the listing, so it's expanding every day. It could well be well over 200 for I know right now, um, which is good because they're making more and more markets available and more and more stocks available. Um, and uh, you can execute your trades for free, as I said. However, even though they uh, market themselves as free trade and uh, zero fees, the fees that you execute, the trades that you execute, 
um, will be executed at 4 p.m. that day. So what that means is that if I buy a stock, and if I buy, uh, for example, Apple or something, I don't know. No, let me use another example. If I buy the FTSE 100 and it's at 7,000, for example, and it at the, at the time that I buy it and it's 1 p.m. and it's at 7,000, my order will execute at the 4 p.m. price. So if it goes up another 50 pips or something to 7,050, 7, it will execute at 7,050. Now that's a big problem for me personally because as, um, well not a big problem for me because I'm a swing trader so I look for the big moves over time. But if you want to execute it at a specific price, you can't do that. It will execute, execute at the price at 4 p.m. So that kind of gets rid of any chance of people trying to day trade with uh, free trade because you you're, you're, you can only execute it at one time uh, each day. So no way, there's no way of day trading or scalping for, for example. Swing traders can still benefit from this, but I like the autonomy of exiting and entering a trade when I want to, not at a designated time each day, because that could be the difference between uh, profit or loss if you have to wait a certain amount of hours before you can exit your trade when the exact time you wanted to exit is when it was probably most profitable or optimal time to exit. So um, it's not the greatest thing, um, but it, it, it could work if you're in for the long haul. So someone that wants to is a is a uh, that wants to trade and uh, buy stocks in a conventional way of holding it for several months or several weeks, um, then this shouldn't be too much of an issue. But if you do want to um, trade instantly, you you can pay a one pound fee. So um, yeah, they haven't really uh, promoted that much on the site. Well, actually, you start with one pound. Yeah. Well, no, if that's one pound means that you start with one pound. You could trade with as little as one pound, but I don't, they don't really promote at the forefront the fact that you you can you can trade instantly, but you have to pay a one pound fee per trade. Still, that's not that bad if you think about it. But um, I don't know. It's not really promoted the here, is it? Because the the key selling point is is zero fee investing, but then the stipulation is that. You have to wait till 4 p.m. and if you don't, if you want to invest instantly, then you pay a pound. So is it zero fees? But uh, I'll give him artistic license for that. It's so my verdict. Free trade is great for millennials and novice traders, traders, uh, and also those who don't have a large sum of money to invest. The user interface is simplistic and is a great entry level tool for new traders, as I've said. Um, it's cheap and cheerful. Even if you do want to pay, it's one pound uh, if you want to execute a trade at that point, which is not too much and it's not too bad to be honest. Um, the only qualms I'd have is that it's kind of void of any analytical tools, which I understand why because new entry level traders may feel daunted by having all these different technical analysis tools and may not know what to do with it. And also, you can't really use them to their full effect on a mobile app because the screen's so small. Even with IGI, I, I, I used a minimal amount of uh, technical analysis on it, uh, apart from drawing some lines here and there because the screen's too small. It, it's not a true representation of all of the data. But I'm under the impression they're not really targeting um, the, the type of trader than I am who has a bit of more knowledge and um, would want to use all of these indicators. So I guess that's not that's kind of like a red herring. Anyway, that's my analysis of free trade. Um, I say that, download the app on your app stores, check it out. There's an, doesn't really cost you anything to 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 try it out. As as I said, um, you can execute trades for free. Given that you you want to wait till four p.m., um, I'd say just give it a go and let me know what you think. And if there's any other apps that you want me to review, I know that there's a lot of other competitors entering the market. Uh, one, namely, being another company called Revolt that's got an app coming out soon that will be pretty similar. Um, when that comes out, I'll probably do a review of theirs as well. Um, yeah, not trader signing out.